favorite pop sensation Mika has a flair for the colorful, so naturally he named his debut album Life in Cartoon Motion. The UK newcomer has been winning over American audiences with his flamboyant and playful music, as well as winning over the media because of a little advice from his family. My aunt worked in television for like 27 years and she, every time she sees me she says this one piece of advice, she's like, Mika, seriously, when you're doing press in the United States, the most important thing is to be nice to the cameraman because he'll make you look like a monster if he wants to. Don't zoom in on my boogers. His singles Grace Kelly and Love Today have showcased his classically trained opera falsetto. Mika thinks his love for the high notes is overstated. I added up all the amount of seconds that I sing in falsetto and the amount of seconds that I sing in normal, like, full voice. There's actually more full voice in it than there is falsetto, but the falsetto gets all the attention because it's like, ah! Falsetto or not, Mika doesn't sweat being categorized as pop, but if he's going to get that label, he'll take down a few other acts with him. If, if someone introduces me as a pop artist, it certainly doesn't turn me off. It could turn other people off who are still recovering from the hangover of the 90s. Pop is no longer a dirty word. And I listen to bands like Fall Out Boy and Panic at the Disco and My Chemical Romance. Those are screamingly poppy records. Extremely poppy. They just have guitars on them. Hear Mika's pop album in stores now. For more on Mika, go to vh1.com.